Mark Lottering, oorspronkelijk van Kaapstad, is sedert die begin van sy loopbaan steeds bekend as een van ons landse top komediante. En hy is die rede dat mense oor die afgelopen 20 jaar steeds van hulle stoele afval. Met ondervindings in beide theater en televisie, het al bijna 20 eenman vertonings geskryf, twee vleer de kap toekenings ingepalm en ook een naledie gewen. Maak, mense onthou jy dalkie beste vir jou werk, uh, jy weet, Auntie Mill, The Musical, en die topverkoper opvolg, Auntie Mill, It's a Girl. Maar baie dankie dat jy my gast is vandag in Atterbury College om te gesels oor een nieuwe show. Baie dankie man, lekker om met jou te chat. Ek het gesien, jy het drie ook gereeld op vir die homesiek uh, Suid-Afrikaners oor see, maar net vir interessantheid om jy af te skop, in wat er ander lande het jy alle draai gaan maak? Ach, um, ek gaan maar oor als waar alle um, Suid-Afrikaners nou naartoe gegaan het om weg te haak, loop so ek is baie in Australia, um, New Zealand, Canada, um, Dubai, um, dit alle, oor, oh, my sorry, op, <laughs> Sorry, David Krame. Oh, um, David, weet jy, hy is ook altyd so yeah. op die nipperkie. <laughs> ja, so, so ek gaan my oor als waar hulle is, London is een groot ene, maar ek, was nou, ek het lang laas getravel oor see, so ek sien daarna uit om weer binnenkort, om weer binnenkort te travel. Oor die terloops was dit nou rarig, David Krame, wat jy gebel het. Yes, daar <laughs> ek dacht, jy maak een joke. Hoor die David, yeah. wat ek so bykie maak, gaan nou, nou met jou wees, hoor. Maar nou, die, die goeie nie smaak, specifiek vir ons Pretorianers, een splinter nieuwe vertooning, ankel maak. So hoe dit nou gebeur, dat jy van anti na ankel beweeg? Oh, wow, dit is interessant, dat jy daar die ding maak, van anti to ankel. Um, ek is nou, um, jy weet, 54 jaar oud, en jy, um, you know, you just go on to another chapter, of your life, en, en verskillende mense het net begin vir my sê, ah, wee, Ankel Mark, Ankel Mark, en ek denk, maar wanneer het ek aan jou ankel geboot, ons drink aan saam, ons party aan saam, <laughs> but you soon realize, you know, you're over 50, en, en ek denk, to die, die aand toe ons besluit het, hierdie moet die titel van die show wees, ek was uit met drinks, met een paar chommies in die kaap, en ek sien vir iemand cute by die bar, en my chommies sê vir my, nie, 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 man, it's not a crime, you can buy a drink, buy a drink, send over a drink, en ek koop a drink, en ek stier het oor, en die cute persoon vraag vir die barman, van wie is die drankie, en die barman, he points in my direction, en cute person turns around, kyk na my toe, daar is baie mense wat daar staan, en cute person skree, Ankel oh, Mark, my ma het aan jou VHS tips gehad, toe denk ek, oké, okay, Okay, another another chapter of your life. So in the show, it was by a great pret met, you know, how do you wake up after 50 years old? You got a vitamin draw in the morning and fat lang. Yeah, you as you wake up is your book, but all as you get drum it. So um so it's a very it's a very important process. And we to be the tour begin in Durban. Us is now in Jalbuk, us come natilak at the bridge too. And thus far it's been sold out in main set screen van the lag. So um I'm having a fabulous time. It's net stand-up. I see my character, see, so as you say, on the mall, I see that any show me. But you can never get on the mall out of me, really. But it's net stand-up. So for me, it's like going back to the, the pure form of stand-up comedy. Well, it's so better to say that this person has said, my mom your DVDs gehad, and not the VHS. But there's also a little bit of in the hair in, in in that you do. But you say, over the last little while, several people, including complete strangers in shops as well, have been calling you Uncle Mark. And you're not sure how you don't feel, but let's talk about it and some other stuff. Noem one yeah. example of this other stuff uh, where you refer. Sure. Other stuff where we was proud. Oh, we talk about how um, how we try to save money when we when we eat January. Want to say I'm almost of social media is January, mm. um, you know. And how you were watching your budget, and you don't go to five star restaurants. You just go to restaurants where they say um, say summery burger. You can create chips or salad. And the behavior that we go into, uh, let's say, wait to say, we have chips or salad, and yeah, we can have chips, but but still, you know, we do this whole thing, oh, you know, 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 South African women didn't fall for the trick because he wouldn't stand a chance. So I give an example as to why. 
Um, dat is baie goed, baie goed wat ek wou ons praat. Maar maak ek eens bykie bekommerd, want ek sien, uh, daar word een paar volwasse thema's aangespreek, so die, die vertoning is dis nou nie vir kinders geskik nie, nee. Nee, ek sê altyd my vertoning is nie vir kinders, uh, want, want um, I don't want adults to feel awkward if they suddenly see there's an 11 year old wat nou langs hulle sit, and dan, and there's suddenly there's a little F-bomb that gets dropped. Mm. That's the main thing for language, you know. So I just try to protect everybody in that regard so nobody feels awkward. But I must tell you, the most thing was was in Durban was, the people bring their kids together. I mean, look, I say, I want my word to them. And I say, no, no, he's heard everything. He's heard everything. This one, he know everything. So um, so we had a, we've been having a great time. And um, But we, we do say uh, we would prefer for, you know, 16 and older to be in the audience. We also kiss it so not younger than 16. Die ding is nou, kinders het deestal YouTube, so het voel vir my, hulle is meer gewoond as die volwasse mense in vandag sit. Hulle, hulle, hulle het alles gehoor, hulle het alles gesien, um, but, but as I say, you know, where one can still draw boundaries, hmm. um, jy weet, jy probeer maar, jy probeer maar my boundaries te draw. So, wanneer kan ons kom kyk, maak en teen hoeveel? At the Brie Theater, the 11th and the 12th of March, it is a Friday and a Saturday. And I would say that I was sick 15 or 16 years back in Pretoria. So jo. for me, it's a big thing. So I see many of them out, people must come and look. Um, and the tickets, I'm not sure what they cost, because you know, I don't do this for money, I do this for love. But look at the At the Brie website, um, how many cars it is. And we have net two shows. It's social distancing in the audience, so mense moet maar vinnig boek, because the tickets go very quickly because of social distancing. And I've only got two shows in Pretoria, and I'm looking forward to it. 11 en 12 maart om 7 uur by die Atterbury kry jou kaartjies by seatme.co.za. Ek wil net om jou af te sluit, sê ek het die idee vir jou volgende show, die titel as jy wil hoor, uh, Mark My Words. Wow, gaan jy nou vir my invoice oor hierdie? <laughs> ek, ek sal het doen vir die liefde van die saak soos jy maak. <laughs> ok, ek sal het nou. Maar, baie word. dankie vir jou tyd, um, ek waardeer het super baie, ons kan nie wacht om jou op die verhoog te sien, vir die eerste keer in soveel jaar uh, terug in Pretoria nie, ja. en sterkte met al die travel en ook die voorbereidings, en uh, dankie vir jou tyd vandag. Baie, baie dankie vir die chat man.